is Ralph Irvin in the Pavilion Club, where Monday afternoon the UCLA Bruins learned their seed in the NCAA tournament. The women will be playing in Columbus, Ohio, opening up against Stetson. The Bruins are a number three seed. Let's hear from the team about their thoughts on going to the big dance. I'm just proud of the hard choices our team's made to um, put themselves in a position to be dancing. I think that's such a wonderful accomplishment, and I've been doing this 20 years, and it never gets old to see their faces when their name goes up on the screen, just the rush of adrenaline. We're just really thankful for the opportunity to compete in the NCAA tournament. But our seed couldn't, you know, I think it's what we had thought, um, but to be on a neutral court on top of that in Ohio, we think it's a, a wonderful opportunity. We have great respect for our, uh, every opponent that's in the tournament field, um, but I think it gives us a great opportunity to go and compete. I'm really excited. You know, we haven't been back in a year and I think it's time for us to be in the big dance. Um, we have a lot of seniors. We have a lot of returning players, a lot of healthy bodies. So we're gonna, we're really pumped and ready to go this weekend. I guess it's a uh, release off our sh shoulders. We don't have to prepare for an ex opponent. Now we know what we have to do in practice and practice um, and it really helps us. So we just, we're just blessed to be in this position and um, very grateful for our seating. It's really exciting. Uh, we've been kind of, you know, anxious to see where we're going to go after uh, the Pac-12 tournament. And it's always anxious the time in between your conference tournament and uh, when you find out where you go. But I think uh, there's a couple nerves at ease now, uh, but everybody's really excited. The longer it went, the bigger your nerves got. And it's just, you know, so such a real wonderful joy as a head coach to see that. And, um, you know, for a while we were placed at Iowa City in the predictions, and that's uh, Coach Shannon's old school. She played at Iowa and then was uh, maybe go to go against Duke and later on in the rounds. And then it was Florida State, which is my old school. You know, you're all these, you know, what ifs. And, uh, you know, we're just thankful. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. We have a great university. We have great teammates to play for. Um, and so we want to represent this and the pac 12 in a major way. I think treating it like we've treated every other day and I think it's bringing the same level of urgency to practice as we have been um, in preparing for the Pac-12 tournament. It's uh, you know preparing your mind, your heart, your body um, and you know taking care of all the things under your control and as much as we can keep that routine the same it's about your mindset and your preparation and we'll stay focused on that. I think my teammates uh, we believe in each other now and it's just uh, it's just going to be a blessing to see a see it all comes come together when it's one and done and it's nothing we can lose and it's more than what we can win so hopefully we just lay it all out on the floor it's like almost like a new beginning we have another chance it's one and done and i think we're really going to play hard play smart and i think playing against a an opponent we don't know gives us just the advantage of surprise we had to win at very high levels against really good competition from Utah to Cal and then coming up one possession short with Stanford. But the styles, the varied styles that we had to play in our game planning what really is great preparation for the NCAA tournament. We played some zone, we played player to player, we played pressure, we played off. And I think, you know, having to really focus in with a short amount of prep um, to play somebody like that, I think really puts you in a good possession to do, a position to do the same thing in the NCAA tournament. This is the best time to play well, so I think it's uh, good that we haven't played to our full potential on a consistent basis because we got the opportunity. Like, we, we cannot not play an A game, so we either bring it or we don't. We still have to, you know, have that fight within us, and we got to uh, still bring that same energy that we ended the conference with, and um, I think that we're going to put up a very good fight in the tournament. Once again, UCLA is a number three seed in the NCAA tournament. The Bruins will open up against Stetson on Saturday in Columbus, Ohio. And of course, the best news and notes on UCLA basketball. Get it all right here at UCLABruins.com.